Hello students, this is Vivek from Shiv Jyoti Educational Group. So today we will start with the revision of chapter number third which is motion in a straight line. So uh, you have gone through the video of this chapter already like uh, as we have we discussed the previous videos and revisions. So similarly like uh, you have already gone through the uh, videos of these chapters in particular. This is the revision video okay in which we would just uh, go through the topics uh, in a quick manner. I will explain you all the details then what you can do is after this you can just focus on the formulas which we would be using over here and do the numericals ok. So let's start with the first thing the first thing is distance and displacement. So you should understand the difference between distance and displacement when we talk about distance. So distance can be considered as the overall path length it can be considered as path length. Now what do you mean by path length? Path length means like if a body is traveling in such a manner let us say like this ok. This is point A and this is point B. So the overall length of this total path let it be in any direction or anywhere this total length of this path would be considered as the distance covered and if we talk about displacement so the displacement would be the shortest distance between these two points that is the initial position and the final position. So the shortest distance possible between these two points would be this line AB ok. So this would be the displacement of it ok. So that is the reason basically that if a body travels in a circle then the overall displacement would be 0 like if a, if a body travels like this starting from point A it gets back to point A. So the distance would be this length that is the perimeter or the circumference of this circle but if we talk about displacement then displacement would be 0 because the initial and the final positions are same ok. So this is the difference between distance and displacement in physics in the chapters which we would be going now going on now uh, it is represented by x or s ok just remember these symbols. Next we have speed and velocity again before we go to speed and velocity understand that this is a scalar term distance and this is a vector term displacement needs direction but distance do not needs direction ok. Then we have speed and velocity. So speed is basically related to distance that is distance covered per unit time while this velocity, velocity is displacement covered per unit time. These are the difference between speed and velocity again distance is a scalar so speed is a scalar displacement is a vector term so velocity is a vector term ok. So speed in general in physics we would be representing this using the symbols like v, u and like the formula would be here you can write it as you can uh, write it as x upon t and here it would be some x vector upon t because this is basically the displacement part. So it is a vector quantity velocity is a vector quantity while speed is a scalar quantity ok. So this is the difference between speed and velocity. Next we have average speed and average velocity. So average when we talk about average so average speed would be the total distance covered total distance covered upon total time the formula for this would be total distance covered upon total time while average velocity would be the total displacement covered upon total time that is the only difference. It would be like it is average like if you are if, if a train is travelling from point A to B to C ok with different velocities or different speeds or maybe so if a body is travelling from A to B then to C and back to some point D. So this whole transformation from A point to D point would involve a lot of distances like A to B, B to C and C to D. So in case of average speed you just need to uh, calculate the total distance and calculate the total time ok. So that would be average speed this can be written as let us say del x upon del t and 
here in case of average velocity also you can write it as del x upon del t but the difference would be that this is distance and this is displacement okay this is what is average speed and average velocity now these are things which you might have seen previously also like in your ninth class you have gone through all such concepts related to speed velocity distance and displacement the new thing which comes into picture in 11th class would be this instantaneous speed and velocity instantaneous speed and velocity is like when we talk about a particular instant jab hum kisi particular ek bahut chote se t time ki baat karte hain bahut chote se t time ki baat matlab ho jati hai dt time jab hum ek dt time ki baat karte hain where t almost tends to zero bahut hi minute sa time hota hai so in this particular time interval when we talk about the velocity or the speed then that is called instantaneous speed and velocity now understand speed ka formula humne dekha tha it was distance upon time so instantaneous ki baat kare agar hum let's say it is some distance uh, some dv this is instantaneous speed or for speed what we can use is let's say to use the symbol s over here ds so that would be equals to some very minute distance d let's say dx upon dt so this would be your average speed oh, sorry instantaneous speed it is like d by dt of the distance covered okay you can also write it like this if this x depends on some t like if this x is represented as a function of t then you can write it like this d by dt of x it means differentiating this x would give you the instantaneous speed over here and if we talk about dv so dv equals to dx by dt this would give you instantaneous velocity here x represents the displacement okay so it's all the same the concept concept is same it is like displacement upon distance upon time over here and here it is displacement upon time so it's the distance which we are talking about the path length and the displacement over here the terms differ only by these particular things either it is a scalar quantity or is it is a vector quantity so this is instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity let's Go, uh, do an example of the same thing let's say if i say that x depends on time uh, such that a plus uh, let's keep it simple let's make it 2 plus 3 t square if i give you that your displacement vector let's take this as a displacement this is the displacement and if i ask you to find out the instantaneous velocity at t equals to 2 seconds then how uh, you will approach to it is you just need to find out dx by dt or we can say d by dt of 2 plus 3 t square so for this understand now the concept of differentiation would come into picture so the first chapter which we discuss in which we discuss the mathematical tools differentiation integration so that ba those basic differentiation and integration skills should be clear to you so we can write it as d by dt of 2 plus d by dt of 3 t square so it would be the constant the differentiation of constant is zero over here ye constant bahar aa jayega yahan pe okay so what you will get is thrice of d by dt of t square now t square ka differentiation karna hai hame yahan pe d by dt of t square so x ki power n wala wala rule kaam mein aayega if you don't know it just go through the video so that the previous video so that you can have a clarity on this this was discussed in the first chapter first or initially in which mathematical tools were discussed so it will come out to be 3 into 2t that would come out to be 6t okay so this is your instantaneous velocity dx by dt you can write it as v that is instantaneous velocity it is 6t now we need to find it at t equals to 2 seconds so what you need to do is at t equals to 2 v equals to 6 into 2 which comes out to be 12 let's say it was this displacement was in meters so this would come out to be meter per second so this is how instantaneous velocity is found out if in case we talk about this x as distance then this would have been speed okay so this is how you calculate instantaneous velocity or speed when you are given that x depends on time with some function like this okay
great so the next thing which we are going to discuss about is acceleration now acceleration when we talk about acceleration so it is the rate of change of velocity basically acceleration is rate of change of velocity when when we say rate of change of velocity means it is v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 that is rate of change of velocity how velocity changes with time or you can also write it as let's say del v upon del t okay so when you write it like this that is total change in velocity upon total change in time so you might also get the formula of average acceleration over here okay so this is del v by del t that is total change in velocity upon total change in time that is acceleration and acceleration like you have gone through questions like when we apply brakes or when an, when a body is uh, in decreasing motion it, it is like uh, it is retard it is in a retarding motion so uh, the value of acceleration which we take is negative most of the time because the motion of the object would be in front in the in the front direction but we would be applying brakes so the overall acceleration would be in backward direction so that's why we take it as negative sometimes that is called retarding motion in that case we take the acceleration to be negative okay so this is average acceleration and uh, at some point in time you might also find instantaneous acceleration instantaneous acceleration so instantaneous acceleration as we discussed about instantaneous velocity it was dx by dt so here instantaneous acceleration some a would be equal to dv by dt where dv and dt are like very minute changes in velocity and time so this would be acceleration like it would be dv by dt so you just need to remember the formulas we discussed about velocity velocity was rate of change of displacement that is dx by dt acceleration would be differentiation of this part difference once you find out the velocity you just need to differentiate it it would be dv by dt this would be the acceleration okay and if we talk about average acceleration would be the total uh, change in velocity with respect to total change in time that is total change in velocity upon total change in time this is about acceleration now to find out and to you know get into calculating the values of velocity acceleration and all you would need three more things which you have studied in ninth class uh, and uh, you might get the revision of these uh, entities in the videos which we have already uh, done and you might have gone through them so those are equations of motion there are three equations if you remember the first one would be v equals to u plus at uh, here v would be the final velocity u would be the initial velocity a would be the acceleration and t would be the time second equation was s equals to ut plus half at square and the third equation is v square minus u square equals to 2 as here s represents distance okay just remember s would represent the distance v final velocity u initial velocity a acceleration okay so remember these equations you might have also done the derivations of these or like in the book we will discuss in the book if it is the derivation is given in the book it's very easy but if we talk about the instantaneous things so you can easily do it by yourself like as i told you what is the formula of uh, velocity it was v equals to dx by dt okay or you can say i told you that acceleration would be dv by dt so using this equation let's see if we can write it as like dv equals to a dt now let's say if uh, body traveled from velocity u to v in time let's say 0 to t so basic integration comes into picture over here you should understand that what would be the integration of dv integration of dv would be v and the limit applied on it would be from u to v okay on over here a is a constant so a and integration of dt would be t and the limits put on to be put on on it would be from 0 to t so when we solve it out we'll get v minus u equals to a into t which gives us v equals to u plus a t which is the first equation okay 
So similarly, you can also derive the rest of the equations. Okay, we'll discuss it uh, from the book later on. So for right now, let's go through the next concept, which is relative velocity. So relative velocity means uh, the frame of reference thing comes into picture over here. Relative velocity means like if two bodies are traveling either in same direction or towards each other or in the opposite direction. So how do we relate the velocity? For example, like uh, the best, the most common example which you come across related to relative velocity would be like you are sitting in a train which is moving let's say in east direction, then you, it would appear to you that all the things outside the train are moving in the west direction or they are going in a direction opposite to you. So that is basically a frame of reference. In, but a person who is already standing outside the train uh, would not consider the, those trees to be moving. The trees would not appear to be moving to him. But we are sitting in the train, so the trees appear to be moving to us. Okay. So that is the frame of reference thing and that is where relative velocity comes into picture. Understand. If we talk about two things, A and B, let's say this is body A and this is body B, okay. So if we talk about the relative velocity of A with respect to B, so that would come out to be VA minus VB, okay. And if we talk about relative velocity of B with respect to A, that would come out to be VB minus VA. This is the concept of relative velocity. Now. Just remember, this is just a formula, okay. Point is, like, there are two cases. Let's say if the body is, all, both the bodies are moving in this direction, okay. And we are taking this direction to be positive, okay. Movements in this direction would be taken as positive. So, the velocity would be VB and the velocity would be VA. So, the relative velocity would come out to be VA minus VB. But, if in case, this body is moving like this and this body is moving like this, this is A, this is B, if this is velocity VA and this has some velocity VB. So understand, right now also the formula would be same, that is VA minus VB. But point is, if you are taking this direction to be positive, this direction has to be negative, okay. So in that case, over here, instead of writing VB, we need to write minus of VB, negative of VB. Why? Because the direction of VB is in is opposite to the direction of A, okay. So this would give us VA plus VB. So understand, if two objects or two bodies are moving in the same direction, then the relative velocity would be VA minus VB. But if in case they are moving in the same direction, then the relative velocity comes out to be VA plus VB, okay. This is the concept of relative velocity, which you need to focus upon. So these are the important points which you need to remember to solve out the numericals related to this uh, chapter, okay. So you just need to understand that how to use the formula, how to use the equations. Now if we talk about questions from your book, so you can just open your books, open your NCRT textbooks and in this, first of all, on this page number 5.4, page number 54, not 5.4, 54, you can see there is a table given on in this. This involves all the formulas which will give you a clear and quick understanding of the formulas or the concepts which we would be using in. Like the formula of path length, displacement, every question is, every formula is given over here. Units are given and dimensions are given. So, uh, as you would be discussing dimensions for the questions which you would be doing in chapter number 1 and 2. So this is an important part for you, the dimension thing. So just remember the dimensions of these basic uh, quantities as soon as you do the numericals of your, question, of your chapters coming on, okay? Great. So apart from this formula, uh, what you can do is, apart from these formulas, you can, yeah, page number 52, open this page number 52. On this, you can go through this uh, example 3.9. Example 3.9, it says, two parallel rail tracks run north-south. Train A moves north with a speed of 54 kilometers per hour and train B moves south with a speed of 90 kilometers per hour. Now it says, what is? In the first part, we need to calculate velocity of B with respect to A. Then we need to calculate velocity of ground with respect to B. And then we need to calculate velocity of a monkey running on the roof of the train A 
okay we will discuss it uh, the third part later on first we need to calculate velocity of b with respect to a understand b with respect to a i told you velocity of b with respect to a so when we talk about velocity of b that is b with respect to a so this comes out to be vb minus va simple as understand question kya keh raha hai it says train a jo hai wo north mein ja rahi hai and train b south mein ja rahi hai okay that's it dono अलग अलग नॉर्थ साउथ डायरेक्शन में जा रही है अंडरस्टैंड यहाँ पे कौन सा कंसेप्ट काम में आएगा यहाँ पे दोनों ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन में जा रहे हैं तो जो रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी होगी इट वुड एड अप ओके सी इन्होंने क्या किया हुआ है चूज द पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन ऑफ एक्स एक्सेस टू बी फ्रॉम साउथ टू नॉर्थ इन्होंने साउथ टू नॉर्थ को पॉजिटिव ले लिया तो दूसरी जो वेलॉसिटी आएगी दैट वुड बी नेगेटिव सी ऑन पेज नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री जहाँ पे सोल्यूशन दिया हुआ है इट इज लाइक वी ए इज प्लस फिफ्टी फोर किलोमीटर पर आर उसको इन्होंने मीटर पर सेकेंड में चेंज किया दैट इज फिफ्टीन मीटर पर सेकेंड दिस इज ऑल्सो एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट आई होप कई बच्चों को याद भी नहीं होगा हाउ वी कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम किलोमीटर पर आर टू मीटर पर सेकेंड सो अंडरस्टैंड ये एक क्वेश्चन है जो डायमेंशन और पर सेकेंड चैप्टर में भी आ सकता है अंडरस्टैंड किलोमीटर पर आर को मीटर पर सेकेंड में करना है सबसे पहले किलोमीटर्स को मीटर में करेंगे थाउजेंड मीटर्स और नीचे है आर आर है तो यहाँ पे हम सिक्सटी इंटू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स करेंगे दिस इज हाउ यू कन्वर्ट दिस ये दो जीरोस यहाँ पे दो जीरोस से गए टू फाइव ज टेन एंड टू थ्री ज सिक्स दिस वुड कम आउट टू बी फाइव बाई एटीन मीटर पर सेकेंड सो जब किलोमीटर पर आर को मीटर पर सेकेंड में करना है तो यू जस्ट नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई विथ फाइव बाई एटीन सिमिलर इज डन इन दिस लाइक फाइव बाई एटीन इंटू फिफ्टी फोर किलोमीटर पर आर तो एटीन थ्री जा फिफ्टी फोर एंड फाइव थ्री जा फिफ्टीन मीटर पर सेकेंड ऐसे आया फिफ्टीन मीटर पर सेकेंड नेक्स्ट वी बी जो दिया हुआ था देखो इसमें नेगेटिव लिया क्यों क्योंकि ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन है एंड इसको जब हम कन्वर्ट करेंगे सो दिस वुड कम आउट टू बी माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके ये आ गया ना रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी में वही कंसेप्ट आ गया वी बी माइनस वी ए सी माइनस फोर्टी वाई माइनस फोर्टी वी बी माइनस वी ए अब इन्होंने जो डायरेक्शन ली है उस हिसाब से वी ए हमारे पास है फिफ्टीन एंड वी बी हमारे पास है माइनस का ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वी बी ए हमें कैलकुलेट करना है सो दैट वुड कम आउट टू बी वी बी माइनस वी ए सो माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टीन इसलिए ये नेगेटिव आया ओके नाउ अंडरस्टैंड अगर कोई बच्चा इस डायरेक्शन के हिसाब से ना चले कंसिडर इन्होंने वी बी को नेगेटिव लिया मान लो अगर मैं वी ए को ले लेता हूँ नेगेटिव माइनस फिफ्टीन और वी बी हम ले लेते हैं ट्वेंटी फाइव एक नेगेटिव एक पॉजिटिव तो भी आंसर वही आएगा इट वुड बी हमें क्या निकालना है वी बी ए सो दैट वुड बी वी बी माइनस वी ए सो दैट वुड बिकम ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस माइनस का फिफ्टीन सो ये हो जाएगा ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस फिफ्टीन आंसर वही है इट इज फोर्टी इट्स वन एंड द सेम ओके ग्रेट सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव द जो चीज हमें कैलकुलेट करनी है इट इज रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी ऑफ द ग्राउंड विद रेस्पेक्ट टू बी Now relative velocity of ground with respect to b. Understand यहाँ पे हमें क्या calculate करना है Relative velocity of ground, relative velocity of ground with respect to b calculate करना है तो वी जी माइनस वी बी हो जाएगा सिंपल तो वी जी कितना है ग्राउंड किसी वेलॉसिटी पर थोड़ी है ग्राउंड की वेलॉसिटी जीरो है तो जीरो माइनस वी बी और वी बी की जो वैल्यू ली थी आप यहाँ पे पुट कर दो दैट सेट इट्स डन ओके हो गया गेटिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट नेक्स्ट वी हैव नेक्स्ट जो चीज हमें कैलकुलेट करनी है इट इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ अ मंकी रनिंग ऑन द रूफ ऑफ द ट्रेन ए अगेंस्ट इट्स मोशन विद अ वेलोसिटी ऑफ 18 किलोमीटर पर आर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ट्रेन ए एज ऑब्जर्व बाय अ मैन स्टैंडिंग ऑन द ग्राउंड नाउ अंडरस्टैंड सी पार्ट देखो पेज नंबर 53 पे इट सेज लेट द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द मंकी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ग्राउंड बी वी एम ओके एंड रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी ऑफ द मंकी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ए मंकी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ए ए यानी कि जो ट्रेन है वो ट्रेन के साथ कंसिडर में हमें देखना पड़ेगा उसको इट वुड बी वी एम ए दैट इज वी एम माइनस वी ए यानी कि वेलोसिटी ऑफ मंकी माइनस वेलोसिटी ऑफ ट्रेन ए ओके दैट वुड कम आउट टू बी नेगेटिव ऑफ फाइव दैट इज माइनस फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड सो आफ्टर दैट हमें वी एम निकालना है ओके सो वी एम कितना आ जाएगा फिफ्टीन माइनस फाइव टेन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड आई होप दिस दैट इज क्लियर टू यू इट इज लाइक वी एम ए ये आया वी एम माइनस वी ए ओके यानी कि रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी ऑफ मंकी विद रेस्पेक्ट टू ए हमने पहले वो निकाली उससे हमने वी एम निकाला दैट इज वी एम इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन माइनस फाइव ओके ग्रेट सो आफ्टर दिस यू कैन ओपन आप 
पेज नंबर 48 पेज नंबर 48 पे ये देखिए जो डेरिवेशन मैं आपको बता रहा था लाइक द इक्वेशन का डेरिवेशन यूजिंग डिफरेंसिएशन कैसे यूज होगा इट इज लाइक सी इसमें क्वेश्चन ही यही है ऑप्टेन इक्वेशन एग्जाम्पल थ्री पॉइंट थ्री आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑप्टेन इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फॉर कॉन्स्टेंट एक्सेलरेशन यूजिंग द मैथड ऑफ कैलकुलस सो इट इज एक्सेलरेशन वही जैसा मैंने समझाया था बिल्कुल वैसा यू कैन जस्ट गो थ्रू इट एंड यू वुड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट इज डन ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव यू कैन ओपन अप पेज नंबर 45. ऑन पेज नंबर 45 वी हैव एग्जाम्पल 3.2. पॉइंट टू सो इन केस ऑफ एग्जाम्पल थ्री पॉइंट टू यू कैन रीड इट आउट इट सेज द पोजिशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट मूविंग अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सेस इज गिवन बाई एक्स इक्वल्स टू ए प्लस बी टी स्क्वायर जैसा एग्जाम्पल हमने यहाँ पे किया था उसमें बस ए और बी की जगह पे मैंने नंबर्स ले लिए थे ओके सो उसमें ए और बी की वैल्यू दी हुई है आपको एंड टी इज मेजर्ड इन सेकेंड्स Now it says what is its velocity at t equal to zero and t equal to two seconds. Okay. अब देखिए इसमें आपको x दे रखा है a plus b t square. So it is like we are given x equals to a plus b t square, and we need to find out the velocity at t equal to zero and t equal to two seconds. So it would be dx by dt. So it would come out to be d by dt of a plus b t square. सो so, वही चीज हो जाएगी d बाय डी टी ऑफ ए प्लस डी बाय डी टी ऑफ बी टी स्क्वेयर सो वॉट वुड इसका तो ये तो जीरो हो जाएगा कॉन्स्टेंट का डिफ्रेंसिएशन एंड दिस वुड कम आउट टू बी b इंटू डी बाय डी टी ऑफ टी स्क्वेयर सो दिस वुड कम आउट टू बी b इंटू ट्वाइस ऑफ t दैट वुड बी टू बी टी एंड हमें t इक्वल टू जीरो और t इक्वल टू टू सेकेंड पे करना है तो यू जस्ट नीड टू पुट इन द वैल्यूज एंड यूल गेट दी आंसर उसके बाद हमसे पूछा व्हाट इज दी एवरेज वेलोसिटी बिटवीन टी इक्वल टू टू एंड फोर सेकेंड्स नाउ एवरेज वेलोसिटी आई हैव टोल्ड यू टोटल चेंज इन वेलोसिटी दैट इज टोटल चेंज इन डिस्प्लेसमेंट अपॉन टोटल चेंज इन टाइम सो देखो यहाँ पे इन्होंने इसी फॉर्मूले में पुट किया है इसको ओके okay? यहाँ पे हमारे पास आएगा एवरेज वेलॉसिटी वुड बी एक्स इंटू फोर पॉइंट जीरो माइनस एक्स इंटू टू पॉइंट जीरो अपॉन टाइम सो इट इज एक्स का फंक्शन बेसिकली एक्स में ये जो एक्स है ए प्लस बी टी स्क्वायर इसमें आपको वैल्यू पुट करनी है टी इक्वल टू फोर और टी इक्वल टू टू तो इसमें टी इक्वल टू फोर पुट करेंगे तो यूल गेट ए प्लस लेट से फोर इसमें पुट करेंगे तो यूल गेट सिक्सटीन बी और उसके बाद टू पुट करेंगे तो यूल गेट ए प्लस फोर बी ओके सो इन दोनों का डिफरेंस वुड गिव यू द टोटल डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड टोटल टाइम यू कैन कैलकुलेट बिटवीन फोर एंड टू इट वुड बी टू सेकेंड्स ओके सो दिस इज how you use these uh, formulas or the di differentiation formulas to calculate the values okay now there is one more question over here on page number 48 example 3.4 jo hai it is related to uh, the vertical motion jab ball upar jati hai upar jaake ek point pe uski velocity zero hoti hai and then wo wapas aati hai so it is related to vertical motion so just go through this numerical okay try and understand how it happens and if you have any doubts then we'll discuss in the doubt session okay so till then just go through the videos and then go through the revision videos okay thank you